Hey guys, what's up? What's new? It's your girl Star, and I'm back again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so so very much. So today we'll be watching Pastor Chris School Doctor the Hair and Who the True God Is. Sounds very interesting. I don't want to have you guys waiting. Let's dive right in. Truth and love the church. So I'm going to be addressing this issue where there is this Islam apologist who is deceiving many. In fact, there are some people who are moving from the faith because of these teachings. Watch. Holy Quran says, believe in the messenger, Prophet Muhammad. And the Holy Bible says those who believe in Jesus will have eternal life and uh, both as according to the Quran both of them are messengers of God and uh, I want to know where did Jesus make his mistake uh, without uh, that means where did he make any mistake that he is unable to save the people brother that's a very good question the Quran says believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him Bible says believe in Jesus, he will give eternal life. So where did Jesus make a mistake? So according to the Quran, both of them, where did they make a mistake? Brother, Jesus Christ, peace be upon never made any mistake. It is the church which made a mistake. According to us, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is one of the mightiest messengers of God. When Jesus says that, that I am the way, the truth and the life, no man cometh unto my father but through me, is correct. That means you are the messenger of God. Same thing what Prophet Muhammad said. At the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, according to the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto to my father but through me. That means if you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you will go to your father. That means you will go to Jannah, you will go to paradise. Eternal life means paradise. Similarly, if you today, but Jesus Christ also said, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Gospel of John chapter 16 verse number 7. For he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Talking about Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him. So today as a Christian, if you really love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to follow the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Jesus Christ... That's where the lie is. So when Jesus said that he is the way, the truth and the life, the way means that he is the only way. It means that there is no other alternative way okay so you can actually see that he's trying to deceive people and also when we move to on to that scripture where jesus was saying that i have many other things to tell you but you cannot bear them now but when the spirit of truth comes he shall teach you all truth he was talking about the Holy Spirit. So that's where he's deceiving people saying that the Holy Spirit is Muhammad. So I'll just allow you to listen to what Pastor Chris says, whether or not Islam and Christianity are under the same umbrella as far as uh, the deity that is worshipped. Is Allah and God the same? Is Allah and Jesus the same? Let's listen. Worship. Saint Jesus and jesus said i am the way the truth and the life he said no man comes to the father that means to god except through me so if there's any religion in the world that people um, try to go to god without going through jesus then of course that must be another God. See, that must be another God because the God of the Christians is the God of Jesus Christ and is a God who raised Jesus from the dead because the Christians believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and that Jesus is not dead. He died but God raised him up and showed him openly the other people who saw him alive. And, 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 and when he went to heaven, he didn't vanish. According to the Bible, he just ascended from the ground and they saw him lifted you see and he went into the clouds as they watched him this his disciples saw and another beautiful thing about him is the fact that his name has power when you pray in the name of Jesus the father answers and that's why Christians believe so much in miracles and these miracles 
without necessarily having to do something about it. They don't have to work out something uh, 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 except working a miracle in the name of Jesus. See, they don't mix uh, concoctions. They don't rob things for, uh, um, for some divine power to take place. They don't drink something for it to happen. They don't have to eat something for it to happen. They call the name of Jesus. They pray to the Father in the name of Jesus and the Father responds. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, um, they're not the same God. They're not the same God. The God of the Christians um, only answers through Jesus Christ. And um, he has said that Jesus is his son. And, and then the Bible says there is no other name in Acts chapter 4 verse 12. There is no other name under heaven. Under heaven given amongst men by which we shall be saved. No one gets saved except the name of Jesus. As a Christian, this is our faith and what we believe in, right? Not to say that what Muslims believed in, they believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. They believe in Allah, right? So, their belief, right? Who are us to judge or who are us to say anything negative but on the other on the other hand we as christians believe that the word of god is without void right the word of god is truth right and as the word of god said no man commit unto the father but through the son jesus christ right and Jesus has come not to kill, not to destroy, but to give life. He has come to save this world from our sins. And so this, this, the message was that, that um, Jesus is the way. And uh, but as the most well all of the muslims will be saying that jesus is a messenger and the last the last messenger would be muhammad peace be upon him right and and so that this is where <laughs> it gets intense right but my faith teach me that jesus is the way the truth and the life right and praying to him all prayers well all our prayers are being are being heard right and he'll give us what is best what he knows um is best for us right and it's it's just amazing it's amazing when we can come together as brothers and sisters and we can dwell in love right we can let god lead us on the right path right it's so amazing how in spite of who we are and what we believe in god still blesses us god still protect us right it is just so amazing it is amazing have a relationship with God to have a relationship with God is just so magical to have a relationship with God that this is what I this is what I thirst for but as the word of God said the, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak What did you guys think about this video? Because in the Islamic faith, they're saying that Jesus was a prophet. But in the Christian faith, we say that Jesus is God. 
the son and he and his father is one and even though he died for our sins so that we could have life not here on earth but after if we live the way how god wants us to live which is in love in peace worship him in spirit and in truth we shall live in paradise we shall be in paradise with him right so we 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 do believe that jesus is god we as christians do believe that we do believe that he and his father is one so is the holy spirit but most but most of the, the islamic faith believe that jesus was a prophet right he was a prophet from god to us right but we all have our different belief we all have our faith and the day of judgment we shall know but by then let us just live in love let us continue to stay prayerful to read god's word which is of peace which is of love which is of guidance right glory be to god anyway guys we come to the end of another reaction video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing i love and appreciate you so so very much let god lead the way god bless you bye guys I wish I had a time